Hello everyone. I welcome you all to today's webinar. Thank you so much for joining in. It's a pleasure to have you on board. In this session, we are going to discuss about our product, WebPersonify. We are launching WebPersonify for small and medium scale business. I'm Saravana Pundrika, developer at Onward Path. We are doing consulting and our specialities are Adobe Experience Manager, Web Content Management, Java Full Stack Development, Digital Experience Platform, and Oracle Web Center. I'll be your presenter for today. Now let's take a quick look at the agenda. Agenda for today looks like this. Website personalization, web personify features are segment, persona, experience, goal and simulate. Finally, we'll see how to sign up for our product. We'll start with website personalization. It is one of the design trends in website developing. We can define it as a way to tailor your website to an individual user's taste and needs. The goal is to identify the user according to preset segment and to deliver a visual best bet of specific information and suggestions. Personalization can be done at different levels. One is at individual level that is based on users past browsing and purchase history. The second one is at group or audience level based on location or user's role. These are the facts about personalization. 90% of the marketers believe personalization is the future. 48% of the consumers spend more when their experience is personalized. 74% of the consumers get frustrated when content has nothing to do with them. Now we'll see about our product, Web Persona 5. It is an easy to use tool. So with the help of our product, Web Persona 5, website personalization can be made simple. It allows you to create segment persona for your website visitors and serve personalized content. Its key benefits are that it is a no-code platform. That is, you don't have to write HTML or CSS code which will be taken care by our web persona for itself. As I said, it is an easy to use tool. You can learn the features on the go and no special trainings are needed to use it. Just click and use it. You can create segments and personas to deliver experiences. You create segments for better targeting. It helps in delivering relevant content. You can create campaigns directly on your website. There are three main concepts in Web Persona 5. One is segment, second one is persona, third one is experience. We'll start with segment. In general, segment-based personalization means dividing the customers into segments. It is essential to determine who visits your website, why they come in, what their intentions are, and where are they going to go as next logical step. We'll see about persona. Personas are fictional profiles that represents group of similar people in a target audience. Simply, personas are representation of customers. The third one is experience. The goal is to create smooth and efficient connections between brand and customer. Better digital customer experience equals more revenue. We'll start with the segment first. Customer segmentation is the process of organizing customers into specific groups based on their characteristics, behavior, or preferences with the aim of delivering more relevant experiences. Web Personify allows you to define segments for a wide range of visitor attributes and create exclusive content for each segment. Once configured, Web Personify automatically directs your Vista segment and serves relevant personalized content. You can create segments based on these Vista attributes. First one is geography based on the location of the visitor. Second one is technology. This is based on the visitor's device such as mobile, desktop or laptop or browser such as Chrome or Firefox. The third one is referrer, ads from Google, Facebook, etc. Fourth is interest and the fifth one is behavior. This is based on the browsing pattern. You can create single or multiple rule with the segments. In single rule, it is based on single visitor attribute. For example, take geo segment. 
you can create a segment based on the location of the visitor alone and you can name it as California visitor segment. In multiple rule, it is based on more than one visitor attribute. For example, if the visitor is using laptop and coming from California, they are named as California visitors with laptop. Here, we have combined two segments and created as a single segment. This is our create segment screen where you can see all the visitor attributes such as geo, behavior, technology, interest and source. Next is persona. Creating persona is a fantastic technique to help develop more customer-centered communication. A persona is a fictional character that communicates the primary characteristics of a group of users identified and selected as a key target through use of segmentation data across the company in a usable and effective manner. This ultimately enables the company to design the best user experience for its customers at all touch points, which is a key success factor in today's business environment. As a web person of a user, you can create personas and present them in a widget that visitors can choose from. This picture is the persona widget configured in clothing store. Customer who wants athletic wears will choose athletic persona and your website will show all the athletic wears available in that store. Then it is easy for the customer to choose one from that availability. In this way, persona is more helpful. This is our create persona screen where you can create a new one or you can choose one from the collections. The third one is experience. Delivering experience on website refers to all the interaction between a business and its customers. In WebPersonify, with your created segments and personas, you can configure experience on any page of your website from home page till your last page. WebPersonify serves personalized experiences to your visitors in a breeze and improves website conversion to a new level like never before. A website that prioritizes user's experience can significantly increase user satisfaction, leading to a higher likelihood of users staying longer on the site, exploring more content and ultimately achieving their goals. We have three types of experience. One is announcement, second one is notification, and the third one is page experience. We'll see about announcement and notification experience now. An announcement is a public statement that is usually formal and has a specific purpose. There are many kinds of announcements, but they are all public and meant to inform. In our web personify, you can create announcement to tell about your discounts on your products based on the segments. You can, you can notify a person such as restocking of the product or the sizes available. Notification, it is the action of notifying someone or something. In our web personify, you can create notification to give alerts such as sizes available or pre-ordering, etc. Both similar, both announcement and notification are similar, but the look and feel is different. In notification, we have banner image and icon image as an additional feature than announcement. We can edit and delete the announcement and notification too. Here is the picture of WebPersonify's announcement delivered on a page for the electric toothbrush product. This announcement tells us that discount is applied on limited edition electric toothbrush and it ends before winter. So we should grab that opportunity and should place order. This is our create announcement screen. This is how segment should be added for our announcement. This is where content should be added for your announcement or for your website. This is our sample notification delivered on a website. This is our create notification screen where you should create a notification for your website. This is how segment should be added for your notification. This is our content for notification Content such as heading, message are added here. As I said, you have icon, icon image URL and banner image URL. There are two link buttons, which is an additional feature than announcement. We'll see about goal. 
You can set conversion goals to any page of your website and monitor the progress. Even you can do changes in your campaigns to achieve these goals. In Web Personify, you can create goals to monitor your website performance, like how many visitors visited your website from a particular segment or a persona. We have destination URL where you can follow a particular page on your website. There is a deadline too, where you can configure deadline for your goals. For example, create a goal and set a target of 50 visitors to your products page with a deadline of two days and monitor the progress for the particular segment or persona. Next is simulate. Web Personify allows you to create simulation model for your created segments and experience. By simulating, you can see the behavior of your personalized experiences. Simulate allows them to test your created segments and experiences from where you are. Simulate is targeted for geo segments. For example, you have created a segment for California visitors and you have created an announcement experience for that particular California visitors. You can test this from India, how California visitors are experiencing their announcement experience from your desk in India. So with this, we come to the end of our session. To experience our product, please sign up for our beta version at webpersonify.com. Take part in shaping webpersonify by test driving the pre-release version and letting us know what you think. Accepted users will receive three months of free access followed by a lifetime discounted subscription. So I guess that's it for today. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at info at onwardpath.com. Thanks a lot for joining us today. Have a great day. Thank you.